this morning and afternoon and evening according to when you are watching me and uh, there is a good news that someone tagged me in a video uh, saying uh, and the video was talking in uh, I think in Greek I don't know exactly the language but uh, Weissman Harry was talking in a uh, some language that I can't specify exactly which one but it's translated that they met the prosecutor and after that they were released and uh, he's appreciating God for all those who stood in gap for prayer uh, for them and uh, uh, before I say and I play the video, let me say, let me ask this. Uh, what really was he arrested for? And definitely, if you follow history very well, if you follow history very well, one thing you need to know, Greece is dominated by Greek Orthodox uh, denomination. And uh, it's a religious country. And you know, Greek Orthodox have a doctrine that comes very close to Judaism. They believe in so many things that uh, Christianity don't quite uh, take as the true story and the truth behind everything they speak as much as it is. And uh, you see, if I relate them to Judaism, Judaism don't even believe it is Jesus who died on the cross. Judaists, they believe it is Judah. Judas that died and they stole the body of Christ. That's when Judaism was born. And there is something to do with the Greek Orthodox relationship with uh, Judaism. I don't want to get into that because I know some scholars are here and uh, I don't want to do expansion in this. It would be another episode altogether. But I just wanted to say, so the, the Orthodox kind of doctrine uh, did not quite feel good with the preaching of deliverance and preaching prophetically that uh, Squan Thessalonica was engaging. It was a real, real uh, difference. You know, there is preaching and teaching something you cannot practice. But then uh, Wiseman Harry and the pastor and other pastors what they could do with this in Squan Thessalonica, they preach what they can practice. So they tell you God can heal, and then they bring the sick and they heal. <laughs> they pray for the sick, gets healed. You see. And also another one that really makes it when they prophesy something, it happens the same way uh, they prophesy. So this Greek, the same way you saw the Pharisees would be coming on and ask Jesus so many questions like, who asked you to preach on Saturday, on Sabbath day, on this day? Who asked you to do this? Who can forgive sin? I mean, those kind of rhetorical, ironical questions that the Pharisees would really ask. If you see the scenario of wise man Harry, you will discover it's almost the same thing that is happening there. Why are you preaching without this? Why are you doing this? You don't have permit to preach. You don't have this to do this. You don't have this to do this. You don't have permission to say this. You don't have permission to deal with this. And etc. And etc. So many times we see these things happening in nations that don't really condone Christianity. Like in China. Like in Korea. Way before uh, all these things came in. In Japan. And uh, all those Arabic nations, they have all these things that really fight Christianity in an indirect format. Well, before you leave, watch this video and subscribe. Emmanuel, of us in the Mazemus. Opposite an anomeno, Masideo is Aguileas, Kemasafs Elefteros. Tell me, I've heard this of all those Christianos, all the Padia to Theo, so look at the Gosmo οι οποίοι μας στήριξαν με την προσευχή τους, με τη στήριξή τους, με την αγάπη τους. Και θέλουμε να ξέρετε ότι συνεχίζουμε να προσευχόμαστε για εσάς. Συνεχίζουμε να κάνουμε το έργο του Κυρίου όπως το κάναμε εδώ και 7 χρόνια τώρα εδώ στην Ελλάδα και σε ολόκληρο τον κόσμο. Και ξέρουμε ότι το καλό δεν είναι αρκετό γιατί το καλύτερο έρχεται. Εμμάνουελ, ο Θεός είναι μαζί μας.